Hi guys, we're back on the Chobe River and today I would like to give you a little cheap cheat that I'm using getting fast moving birds in flight perfectly sharp even coming towards you. If you like what we do here on this channel please don't forget to subscribe by pressing the bell button at the bottom. Alright, so on the Chobe River, um, Peño, our guide, has parked perfectly onto the bank here. And there's a whole mud bank full of nests of the Pied Kingfisher. This time of the year, the Pied Kingfisher chicks are in the nests. And mom and dad is feeding them frantically. You get a lot of amazing behavior during this time of the year. Especially food passes, a lot of fishing. The parents are working very hard to feed the young. They're diving in and out all the time. So there's a lot of amazing opportunity to get great Pied Kingfisher shots. What I would like to talk about today is getting that iconic shot of a Pied Kingfisher coming out of his hole straight towards you. This is a shot that is theoretically quite difficult because your camera finds it extremely difficult focusing on something coming towards you at speed. When a subject comes straight towards you fast your camera is focused on him and as he's focused and you take the picture the subject already came closer to you then you have to refocus again and by the time you focus and your camera takes the picture the subject's already moved closer to you again and that's the re reason for all the soft images of birds flying right towards you so a little cheap cheat that i've been using for many many years very successfully is i pre-focus in front of the hole where I know the subject is coming out of. Pied kingfishers is very easy doing this because they're very predictable. We've been sitting here the last 10 minutes and just observe. And we see whenever they go into a hole, they stay there for a little bit and then they fly out by diving down a little bit. When they dive down, they swoop up. And that's right there when I want to get that shot coming right towards me. I usually focus about a foot in front of the hole because that will give me a perfect area where the bird is going to fly through and that area will be in focus so all i need to do is take the picture so when you focus a foot in front of the hole you have to lock your focus right there on back button focus which the way i'm shooting is very easy to do that you focus on that area with your back button and then you release once you release your focus the camera will stay there or the focus will stay there those of you that do not shoot with back button this is where AFS on Nikon or one shot comes in with Canon. You'll have to focus in that area and keep your trigger pressed halfway down. The camera will remember that focus and the moment you press the trigger further, it will literally take the picture. So, focusing in front of the hole, lock your focus there. Have a very nice fast shutter speed. I prefer the bright time of the day for this kind of pictures because then I can really push my shutter speed as well as my f-stop. Let's talk about shutter speed. Shutter speed, I always try to be at least 2,500ths of a second for birds in flight. With these Pied Kingfishers, I'm going to push you to 4,000ths of a second. I really just want to freeze as much of the action as I can. And even at 4,000ths of a second, you will still pick up a little blurriness in the wings. Then, I also would like to push my f-stop a bit higher. Why? The bigger you make your f-stop, or the higher your f-stop is, the more depth of field there would be, and that gives you a bigger area that would be in focus and if the birds fly through that area you will have more sharper images so when it's nice and bright like this i'm going to go to f8 on four thousandths of a second i shoot an auto iso and f8 on four thousandths of a second with zero exposure compensation does give me iso of a thousand yeah people will say you shoot at a thousand iso and bright light like that yes why not the camera can do it on a thousand ISO there's still no noise and it's more important for me to have a fast shutter speed and a bigger f-stop in this scenario. Let's get shooting. Now I'm just waiting for a bird to go into a hole. Ah, there we are, one went in right there. I'm gonna focus, find myself a spot about a foot in front of the hole. I lock my focus right on that spot 
and then I'm just waiting. Because I know these birds are diving down as they come out of the hole, I'm going to put the hole on the top part of my frame, so it will literally dive into my picture. It's tempting to press the focus, but be strong on yourself and just wait. This is where this boat come in very, very handy. I don't need to hold my camera up. This custom photo arms is perfect, makes life much easier. Up. There he goes. Very nice. I just saw that little beak coming out and I started shooting. He flew down and he flew right through my focus area as I was shooting. Continuous shooting and if I got two, three frames of a nice sharp bird in flight coming towards me. That's exactly what we wanted. There we are guys. I hope this little cheat is helping you. I hope you're going to get some birds in flight coming towards you. Give it a go. Tell me what you think. Have a great day.